It's 10 trivia questions on pianos and pianists for Ben Stitzel. Thanks for being a Patreon subscriber, Ben. This is Trivia with Buds. Welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show, and thanks for subscribing on Patreon, like today's listener-picked episode from Ben Stitzel. Ben subscribes for 5 bucks a month, and he gets to pick a topic once a month, and he gets the show completely ad-free. You should be like Ben for just a dollar a month, or $5 a month, or whatever you got. If you can support the show, give it a go, and you won't be disappointed with no ads on the show. Uh, today's episode all about pianos and pianists, and we've got 11 questions coming up on that topic. Before we get into it, we've got our categories letter P, and we have words ending in N, types of drinks, and items in a vending machine. Words ending in N, types of drinks, and items in a vending machine. So listen to me at the end of the episode, try to figure out uh, some answers that start with P there and listen for the fact of the day. And I'll give you a heads up. The fact of the day today is something to do with jellyfish. So if you like jellyfish, that might be for you. We're jumping into questions on pianos and famous pianists right now. Here we go. Here we go with some questions on pianos and their famous players Question number one. Which famous composer and pianist wrote the Moonlight Sonata? Number one, which famous composer and pianist wrote the Moonlight Sonata? Question number two. Who is often referred to as the father of the piano and is credited with inventing the modern piano in the early 1700s? Number two. Who is often referred as the father of the piano and credited with inventing the modern piano in the early 1700s? Number three, which Russian virtuoso pianist is known for his intricate and challenging piano compositions, including prelude in C sharp minor and piano concerto number two? Which Russian virtuoso pianist is known for his intricate and challenging piano compositions, including prelude in C sharp minor and piano concerto number two? Question four, how many keys are on a standard piano? Number four, how many keys are on a standard piano? Number five, who won the Oscar for Best Actor for the Pianist in 2002? Number five, who won the Oscar for Best Actor for the Pianist in 2002? Number six, the term pianissimo. In music notation refers to which dynamic level? Number six, the term pianissimo in music notation refers to which dynamic level? Number seven, which Toledo, Ohio native was born in 1909 and is said to be one of the best piano players of all time? Number seven, what Toledo, Ohio native was born in 1909 and is said to be one of the best piano players of all time? Number eight, what word means a wavering effect in a musical tone produced either by rapid reiteration of a note, by rapid repeated slight variation in the pitch of a note, or by sounding two notes of slightly different pitches to produce prominent overtones? That's a loaded question. Number eight, what word means a wavering effect in a musical tone produced either by rapid reiteration of a note, by rapid repeated slight variation in the pitch of a note, or by sounding two notes of slightly different pitches to produce prominent overtones? Number nine, the famous piano manufacturing company Steinway & Sons was founded in which city? Number nine, the famous piano manufacturing company Steinway & Sons was founded in which city? Question number 10, each piano string holds about 168 pounds of what? Number 10, each piano string holds about 168 pounds of what? And the bonus two-point question to close it out. Which member of the Peanuts gang played piano? Which member of the Peanuts gang played piano for two bonus points? Those are all of your questions on pianos and pianists. 
if your kids laughed at me saying that word throughout this entire episode, I applaud them because I would laugh if I was a kid and my parents had this on in the car. Uh, We'll be right back with the answers right after this. We are back with the answers to pianos and pianists. Let's see how you did. Number one, which famous composer and pianist wrote the Moonlight Sonata? That was Beethoven. Beethoven. Number two, who is often referred to as the father of the piano? That's Bartolomeo Cristofori. (laughs) Bartolomeo Cristofori, father of the modern piano. Number three, which Russian virtuoso pianist is known for his intricate and challenging piano compositions, including prelude in C-sharp minor? Sergei Rachmaninoff. Number three, Sergei Rachmaninoff. Number four, how many keys on a standard piano? I can say that one pretty easy. 88, 88 keys. Number five, who won the Oscar for Best Actor for the Pianist in 2002? Adrian Brody. If you want to see a very weird clip of him, look at him uh, putting on, I think, a Jamaican wig to introduce some band or group on SNL. It got him banned from SNL. Look it up. Number six, the term pianissimo in music notation refers to which dynamic level that's very quiet or whisper quiet number seven what toledo ohio native was born in 1909 and is said to be one of the best piano players of all time that's art tatum art tatum number eight what word means a wavering effect in a musical tone produced either by a rapid reiteration of a note and other items it's tremolo 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 t-r-e-m-o-l-o tremolo number nine the famous piano manufacturing company Steinway & Sons was founded in New York City, New York City. Number 10, each piano string holds about 168 pounds of tension, tension. That's pretty tight, tightly wound up. And which member of the Peanuts gang played piano? That was Schroeder from Snoopy and the gang, Schroeder. There you have it, 11 questions for Ben Stitzel on pianos. Hope you had a good time playing along with those, Ben, and anybody else who likes keyboards, music, etc. Your fact of the day for today is the jellyfish is 95% water. That's a lot of water, not much jellyfish. Just kind of floating around there very lightly in the tanks at your favorite aquariums. And your letter was P. We had words that end in N. How about pen? Nice and easy. Types of drinks, Pepsi. I love it. And items in a vending machine, Pepsi again? No. This time I'll say peanut butter cups. There you go. Thanks for listening. And remember, you can now watch the episodes on YouTube with the slideshow that I use to read the questions. So uh, the audio without the slideshow has been uploaded and new videos with the slideshow over it. If you want to see those on YouTube or on your smart TV or something like that, or you want to play through a couple of rounds with some friends over at your house, that's a super easy way to enjoy the show. Patreon.com slash Trivia with Buds, dollar a month, no ads. And thanks for listening to Trivia with me. Cheers.